I found texts to my brother-in-law from my husband about our son's best friend's babysitter. Original post. I'm 35, my husband is 37. We have two sons 8 and 11. I recently got my hours switched, so I'm working afternoons, but luckily my in-laws watch them most days after school. But two days out of the school week, my husband goes into work early, so he can get out early and be home with them. When this began, he started making a point to do something fun with them every afternoon he's with them. Not always something big, sometimes just a fun activity at home, or going to play football at the park, a hike etc. They always have a really good time. A lot of the time my kids tell me that my youngest son's best friend Oliver comes along. I just assumed that either Oliver's parents were coming, or my husband was watching all three of them. Today I was looking through some photos my older son took, and saw the same woman in a lot of them, talking to my husband. I asked my son who it was, and he said it was Oliver's babysitter, 25 female, and she comes with them regularly, as in, nearly every time. When I asked my husband why he didn't tell me about it, he seemed genuinely confused, and asked me who I thought was coming along, and I told him. He just shrugged, and was like, well, she's been coming. I asked for clarification on how often, and he was like, well, basically every time Oliver comes with us somewhere. I don't know exactly why, but I feel weird he didn't tell me about this. But he seems to genuinely take it aback that I didn't know or realize it. That I don't know if he's being genuine or just wants to act like it's not a big deal so I don't act like it's a big deal. I've asked my sons, and they don't say much about her, other than her and dad talk a lot, and one of my sons talks about how she is pretty hands. I told my husband that I was kind of bothered by this, and he seemed kind of annoyed. He was like, I don't know what you expect me to do, she's the kid's babysitter, and our son insists on having the kid come with us, so she needs to come too. So I told him that was fine, but I just wanted to know about it. And he answered that he didn't get bothered when the boys had playdates, and the dads would come over and it would just be me or them, or when we needed drives to soccer practice and one of the dads drove us. He says he thinks me being bothered by this is just because he's a man. But I think it's more of the fact that it was something I had no idea about, I had no clue she was there coming with them, and only found out because of that picture I saw. Now for the top advice before reading the updates. It sounds like the pretty hands comment was something your son heard your husband say. What kid says stuff like that? It struck me as odd as well, I've never heard him say something like that. Give him the benefit of the doubt, but be cautious. My wife had an issue with a therapist I was seeing, I simply stopped going. It isn't a control thing, it's a respect thing. If something or somebody makes you uncomfortable, it's your husband's job to rectify the situation. If I were you, I'd tag along with your husband one day when you know she'll be present. This will give you the opportunity to introduce yourself, establish some boundaries, and gauge their reactions. If your husband is hesitant in any regard to you meeting her, start investigating. I offered to invite her over for dinner, since I'd like to get to know her since she and the kids spend so much time together. And he said no. If your husband is telling the truth, inviting her out to dinner can seem odd. I'd just free up some time in your schedule and attend a playdate when you know Oliver will be present. This is not only within your rights as a parent, but if there's anything shady going on, the reactions to you adjusting your schedule may tell you all you need to know. Now for the first update. Hi, I posted yesterday, where my husband didn't tell me that my son's best friend's babysitter was coming with them to nearly every single one of their outings. I was a bit upset by this because I had no idea who she was, that she was spending all of this time with them. I found out by looking through photos my son took of their most recent hike and seeing her there. My husband was acting really nonchalant about it, acting really surprised that I saw anything odd about it. He immediately dropped the issue, but I wasn't sure if he wasn't making it a big deal so I didn't make it a big deal. He was acting completely normal last night, and then as I was cleaning up the kitchen, I overheard him talking to his friend from his office. I had the kitchen window open and he must have opened up his office window. I overheard him saying how he thinks he's all good now, he thinks she's dropped it. That was the only thing I heard, and I assumed I was the she he was talking about. I know it was nothing damning, but between the situation of him not telling me about the babysitter, and then this, I had my suspicions way up. This morning I went through his phone. I know it wasn't the right thing to do, but I just had such a bad gut feeling. I did find her in his phone, but all of the messages with the exception of one that was sent this morning, and she's asking if he has the boys today or not. But I did find messages about her between him and his brother, talking about her. My husband absolutely gushes about her, like an obsessed little boy. He says how funny and amazing she is, how beautiful her eyes are, how much he loves her laugh. There's one point where he says that he thinks one of our sons has a crush on her. And his brother replied something along the lines of, can't imagine where he gets that from, it must run in the family. I'm completely crushed. 
I didn't talk to him about any of this yet, because I barely spoke to him at all this morning before he left for work. I don't know if I should confront him or Leia or his brother, or if I should just pack my stuff and go. The text from the babysitter is odd too. Why would she ask if he has the boys today? Does she not know y'all are together raising your son so he has access to the boys every day? It's a weird phrasing to me. If she was setting up a playdate with the boys, she would ask differently. Have you talked to Oliver's mom about this inappropriate behavior? He doesn't watch the boys every afternoon, only twice a week. Usually he's working. No, I haven't spoken to his mother yet. But if she was only trying to set up a play date, wouldn't she ask if the boys were available? Not if he has the boys. If everything was innocent, the play dates would be set up, even when he didn't have the boys. As others have suggested, try to meet them today at the park just to see their reactions. But I think Oliver's mom needs to be made aware and let her babysitter know that all play dates need to be set up between the parents. It's inappropriate for the babysitter and her husband to have any communication. Please for the love of God, show up to one of their meetings. Just pop up and be like, I'm so glad I finally get to meet you. And be nice to this woman. If she acts weird or hateful towards you, then you've got big issues. After that, have a calm sit-down talk with your husband about the amount of time he's spending with her and tell him it needs to stop. Personally, I think he's cheating. Deleting text messages is so freaking fishy. If he refuses to stop seeing her, then you need to be prepared to start the divorce process. I'm definitely considering doing this. OP, I wouldn't go join them. I'd go watch them. You have a perfect opportunity to watch from afar and see how they act around each other while you're not there. You can even record what you see so he can't gaslight you about it later when confronted. If you do see suspect behavior between them, sitting too close to each other, touching each other, acting in a too familiar way with each other, it may be only on his end or the both of them, but you'll know either way. Let's face it, they're gonna be on their best behavior if you go walking up and join them. You'll also be giving them a big heads up that you're truly onto them. They're not gonna do anything in front of you when he already knows you're suspicious and they'll act accordingly. They may have already had the talk about what to do and say if confronted by you. Were the messages between him and her deleted? If the messages were deleted, red flags. By the way, he was lying by omission, red flags. He messaging her, red flags. He having a crush on her, red flags. His brother knows and seems to be playing wingman instead of setting him straight, red flags. I would be heartbroken. Yes, I'm assuming the messages were deleted last night. There was only one message from her on his phone, it had been sent this morning. Now for the second update. Sorry I didn't update sooner, it's been a long awful night. I got out of work early and went to the park, and they were there. When I got there, I saw she was wearing one of my husband's hoodies, and that's when I basically knew everything I thought was confirmed. It was a hoodie that he had bought on a vacation we had gone to as a family. I don't know why, but that's still the thing that I keep going back to, is that she was wearing his hoodie. As I was driving up to the park, I was watching them. And if you didn't know them or who they were, you would have thought they were one big family. That's how they were interacting. It honestly made me sick seeing how familiar she was with my husband and my kids, when I didn't even know who she was. I watched them for a minute, and then I saw my husband put his hand around her waist, literally right there in front of our kids, and I saw red. When I went into the park, my oldest son saw me first and said something to my husband. He walked over to me and asked me if I really left work early to come spy on him. And I told him yes I did, and I was glad I did, because I saw him playing happy family with my kids and a random woman. And he told me I was overreacting, that they were playing in the park, he had put his hand on her waist to steady her because she was about to fall, and she was wearing his hoodie because it was unexpectedly cold out, everything he had an answer for. At some point, Leia came over and said it was clearly not a good time, and that she was going to take Oliver home. I said something along the lines of, you're wearing my husband's hoodie and playing with my kids, and you're not even going to introduce yourself to me. And right in front of her, my husband flipped out on me, and called me rude, telling me that this is exactly why he hadn't introduced me to Leia. And then goes to her, this is what I deal with every freaking day. She just looked at me and told me her name, and then told my husband she'd talk to him later, and went to go get Oliver. At this point our boys came back over and asked why Oliver and Leia were leaving, and my husband just told them to get in the car and told me we'd talk about it more at home. When we got there, he flipped out on me. He told me that I had embarrassed him and the boys, and of course they defended him 100% and were completely upset at me that I had made Oliver leave and them come home early. I told him that if he wasn't going to act trustworthy, like hiding what he was doing or with who, deleting texts, being touchy-feely with another woman, then I wasn't going to treat him with trust. 
I told him I didn't trust him because it seemed like he had feelings for Leia and was trying to hide it from me. That's when he really lost it and he told me that yes he has feelings for her. How could he not look at the way I treated him? I asked him for clarification, how deep were his feelings for Leia? He wouldn't answer, so I asked him if he'd ever done anything with her. And he said yeah, they kissed a few weeks back, and he was still trying to process all of it and how he felt about her. I lost it and started yelling at him. He didn't even try to defend himself, but once I started calling her names, he told me to shut up and keep her out of it. Anytime I said something bad about her, he flipped out on me, and I think that's what hurt the most was him not caring at all about my feelings or anything like that. But whenever I would say things that were true, like how she was a home wrecker or anything, he suddenly becomes all gallant about defending her honor. Right now I'm staying with my sister, since my sons don't want anything to do with me, along with my husband. I'm going to go back over there today while the boys are at practice. Now for more advice before reading the last update. He's the one doing you wrong, but somehow, you're the one with the issues. Your husband's tactic is deflect, deflect, deflect. Call a lawyer, remove your important documents and valuables, keep your head held high. You're being gaslighted. Get an aggressive lawyer, I recommend getting a woman. Freeze your account so he can't be moving money. Stay with the boys. If you leave, you may lose custody because of abandonment. Good luck. Sickening. Step 1. Take half of the money in your account and put it in a separate one. Do it this morning. Step 2. Secure your credit cards. Step 3. Talk to a lawyer. After that, I would sit your boys down and explain to them that daddy and Ms. Babysitter did something to really hurt mommy. In a kid-friendly way, to help them understand what's happening. I would also reach out to their friend's mom and see if you could set up a play date when the parents are off work. Hopefully you can work to repair your relationship with your sons. It would be very difficult for you to ever trust your husband again, especially after neither him nor the babysitter is showing remorse for their actions. When reaching out to the friend's parents, I'd also be very explicit about what is happening. I feel like most parents would be interested to know that their babysitter is using their kid as a cover to cheat with a married man while also getting paid. As a parent, I concur. I would not want this woman taking my kids out along with her married boyfriend. Get back in the house. If there's someone who needs to leave, that's your husband. He's the one who destroyed the family. Tell also the parents who hired Leia. Tell your kids the truth. They will understand why you don't want her anymore near them. Do not wait for your husband to decide who he wants to stay with. Decide for the family and what's best for you. Remember that you don't need to stay with him for the children. If your brother-in-law has a partner, also tell them that he is okay with cheating since he helped your husband do it. I know is petty, but I would mess up all of their lives. Yeah, brother-in-law's wife deserves to know that this is within brother-in-law's moral code. Now for the latest update. Thank you to everyone for your kind words of advice and support. This isn't a situation a few days ago I ever dreamed I would be in. I haven't slept more than four hours since all of this started, and I feel completely numb and empty. I went back home yesterday and my husband was there, since my in-laws had taken the kids to practice. I told him I had a lot of questions, and I just wanted him to answer honestly. I asked him if he wanted to be married to me, and he answered honestly and said no. I asked him how long he had been in love with Leia, and he had said for a few months. I asked him if he was ever going to tell me, and he said that he was, but he didn't know when the best time would be. I asked if they had slept together, and he said no, they had only kissed, but he wasn't very convincing when he said that. I asked if or what the boys knew, and he said he didn't think our youngest knows anything, but that our oldest son might have noticed some things, and might have an idea what's going on. He's going to be living in the apartment we have in the basement. I'm going to speak to a lawyer on Monday, and preemptively put myself and the kids in therapy. I made him show me all messages that he had screenshots of, and he showed them to me. They were hidden in a folder within a folder in his email, so even if I went through his phone, I wouldn't have found them unless I knew exactly where to look. This wasn't just a physical affair. He has deep feelings for her. I think the hardest part for me is the fact that our sons were involved. That's the hardest thing for me to wrap my head around. Again thanks for all of the words of encouragement and support. I'm sorry if I forgot anything. Your husband is a fool. He's infatuated with her but he does not know her. What he knows is that she's okay breaking up a family. She has no real income or wealth. She thinks she's stepping up financially. The reality is much different. I predict that once she realizes he's a loser with no extra money, she'll dump him. He will come crawling back someday, so be prepared for that. In the meantime, your response is the same whether you want to divorce or reconcile. 1. Zero tolerance for his behavior. 2. File for divorce immediately. 3. Do not cry in front of him. 
I know it's hard, but he sees tears as weakness. Nothing will shock him more than you being strong, like you care less, and moving on without him. 4. See a doctor for help sleeping and mood swings. 5. Drink lots of water and hit the gym. 6. Do things just for you. Hair, clothes, new hobby. What was Oliver's mother's reaction to the situation? She said she was very sorry to hear about it, and that she had noticed the two of them spending a lot of time together. Is she going to fire Leia? No, I don't think she is. 